Yo yo yo, Joe Sketch making a return to my Halo videos after a bit of time off because of uni work. This video is a summary of the NA Pro League weeks 4 and 5. First of all, I'll just have a quick run through all of the transfers that were made. Five teams made a change, whereas Liquid, Optic and Envy kept their roster they start the season with. Enigma 6 had the first roster change. After a dispute at the start of the season, Stella left the squad and they re-signed Season 1 player Shooter from Allegiance. This was, at the time, a good decision from E6. They had had success with this squad in Season 1 and Shooter was the strongest player stats-wise from Allegiance. Evil Geniuses had been struggling with their current roster and Victory X was the one to go, being released and replaced by Stella. They lost experience with Victory but gained raw skill with the sign of Stella. I agree this was a good choice for EG as they needed to make a change in order to get into the top 4 and Stella is a great player. Alowal made a controversial decision releasing up and coming player Renegade who had their best stats and helped them to a 2 win streak for Eco. On paper, the weaker player but this was a great move from Alowal, their current roster reforming from Worlds when they were part of Liquid. They have had a lot of experience together and placed top 8 at the event. Losing Eco opened up a transfer opportunity for Luminosity. They signed Victory X. I think Victory and Eco are the same type of player and Victory has experience over him. This signing means Algae are a lethal objective team with three strong OBJ players in Naded, Altown and now Victory, allowing Dunoxide to thrive in Slays. Allegiance were hit the most by these changes. I had a lot of respect for ALG when they had Shooter. They definitely weren't the worst team in the league. With their strongest player Shooter leaving for E6, they had to look at open circuit players to replace him. They chose a former Optic player, Straight Sick. A solid choice given their options, I just don't think he was what the team needed. Effectively having four Slayers now in the squad, they'd have to look to Contra for experience and leadership. And a quick mention about UCG St. Louis. Panda Gaming, with a roster of Cloud, Ryanoob, Goofy and Gabriel, won the open bracket, which is the amateur tournament. Most Wanted's Nemesis, Lifestyle, Bomex and Destroyed placed second with newcomers Cyan Esports and their roster of Will is Sick, Ellie Elite, Jam I Am and Most Damaged Doubt, oh, I love that name, placing third. In the main event, four of the eight pro teams competed, these being Allegiance, Evil Geniuses, Enigma 6 and Envy or Truce who had Lethal instead of Mikwin. The top four in the main event were Envy, Enigma 6, EG and then Panda Gaming in that order. Now into the week reviews. Week 4. Week 4 saw match 1 as Luminosity against Optic Gaming. I had faith in the Luminosity lads, the team I support in the NA Pro League, and going into game 1 they didn't disappoint. Algae coming back from 2-1 down to win 3-2 on CTF Fathom, to Noxide with 22 kills. Optic answered back, 50-31 on Regret Slayer, they had full control the whole game. Game 3 saw Algae take the lead on Optic's favourite map, the Rig Strongholds. They went 100-80 to to Noxide's camo shotgun on point. Game 4 was a big decider, CTF Truth and Royal 2 went massive with 22 kills for Optic, allowing them to win 3-1 and take it to a Game 5. Royal 22, eh? No, just, just me? Yeah, just, just me. The Rig Slayer was an amazing game. Algae nearly tied the game at 40 kills, but despite a collapse of the end, time ran out, 48-45 for Optic to win 3-2. Next up was a battle to stay in contention of the finals. Alowal versus E6. Game 1 was CTF Coliseum, and it went to a 2-2 scoreline before E6 clutched up to win 3-2, 8 with only 4 kills. Alowal regained their composure in Game 2 Slayer, Plaza, APG going huge 18 for 9 as Alowal had to hold off a late push from E6 but they won 50 to 45. Empire Strongholds next, in a scrappy game, E6 outslays Alowal but Alowal pick up the win 100 to 71 and they looked in good contention for the series. E6 crumbled in game 4, CTF Fathom, Alowal winning 3-0 and the series 3-1, now on a 3 win streak. EG played Liquid, and they set off to get a win with their new 4th, Stella. CTF Truth wasn't even close however. Liquid, masters of flag running, won 3-0 
and who other than Hammy, or commonly, to get all three caps. Momentum in favour of Liquid for the Rig Slayer, but a big win for EG, 50 to 35. They were showing some life. 15 kills, 13 assists, 7 deaths for Roy, all whites, front page news. Empire Strongholds would be a massive game to decide the series. Liquid hit back with commonly giving Ninja the business. They won 100 to 70. He gets 23 kills where Stella only 9. T2 channeling his inner share at the end of the game. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way. I apologise my awful singing. I just had to do it. Liquid turned up in another CTF game. Probably the best team at CTF in my opinion. They win 3-0 heavily outslaying EG, Spartan hitting a kill tack, and they take the series 3-1. Last game of the day was Allegiance vs Envy. Three quick caps in succession and Pistola on a massive wizard spree meant Envy took CTF Collie 3-0. Contra only two kills. You blink and you miss it. Regret Slayer was a bit tricky for Envy, but the team pulled through with a 50-40 win. Noose player straight sick only going 6-14 for 14 for Allegiance. It was too much for Allegiance in Game 3 Rig Strongholds. Killing Frenzy by Snipe Down, 21 kills, 100 to 48 to them, they take the series 3 0. Day 2 saw Allegiance take on Luminosity in the starting match. Algae came out kicking, 100 to 65 on the Rig Strongholds. Nader going on a spree, 19 kills and 8 caps. Falcated putting up stats for Allegiance with 16 kills, but it wasn't enough. Regret Slayer was up, and another relatively easy win for LG, 50-39. Altown 16-8, and, and victory of 12 assists, but unsung hero as Nader pulled a clutch play to grab an OS when the scores were tied mid-game. The series was won on CTF Fathom with a 3-1 game for Luminosity. This time Denoxide get an MVP with 20 kills, Falcated fluctuating with only 9. LG break away from the 3 teams they were level with, with that 3-0 win. Alawal played Envy next, and what a game for game one. Alawan win 100-77 on Eden Strongholds. APG back in his final form. 20 kills for him, Alawal looking good. Envy had to switch on as they were not looking too hot. Plaza Slayer saw exactly that. 50-29, well done stake, ace 2 for 16. A great clip reel from the snipers on Envy. CTF Truth was quick from Envy, 3-1, no one with over 10 kills. Empire Stronghold saw Envy take a massive lead. Algae slowly clawed back and took the lead 90-89 before Envy took the hill back, but a retake from Alawal took it to a game 5, 193. The Rig Slayer was the clincher. A bunker spawn from Snipe Down stopped a comeback from Alawal late game and Envy took it 50-40 and won the series. Envy now on a 7 win streak. Liquid vs E6 was match 3, and it started on Empire Strongholds. Liquid's overshield control clinched the victory despite getting outplayed, 100-77 the score. Moving into Plaza Slayer, Liquid withheld their momentum and cooked a state, 50-28, Kratos 3-14, and, and Penguin 14-6 in contrast. CTF Truth, and a great play from Penguin at 2-1, reversal mealing suspected with a camo, but Liquid had to hold out for a few more minutes and another cap from E6, 3-2 to Liquid, 24 kills from Spartan, 3-0 to Liquid the final series score. Match 4 was intense, EG won game 1 against Optic 100-7 on Empire Strongholds, Optic's biggest stronghold loss, EG did beat Optic in the original time these two teams played, it was looking good for them going into Slayer Plaza where they didn't falter, 50-40 to to them, Roy going all whites again, 16 kills, 13 assists and 8 deaths. EG 2-0 up in the series, but as CTF Truth started, the doubts came in. Optic came right back in the series with a 3-1 win on the map. Ninja only 6 kills. It was worrying for EG and Game 4 got them even more worried. 115 on Eden Strongholds, only 2 kills from Lunchbox, in contrast to 23 from Frosty. He turned up. Even grabbing a patented T2 overkill, that's in quotation marks, Optic completely on full cylinders, charging because they can't lose. 50 to 30 on Game 5 Rig Slayer, Frost in Royal 2 show. Meant at the end of week 4, EG down to 6th after that reverse sweep. 
Week 4 saw the three teams that made no changes winning all their games, whereas the bottom three placed teams, EG, E6 and ALG, losing all of theirs. Well, we were week 5. Competition was heating up for the NA Pro League. Every team still had a chance of reaching finals. Match 1 was a big match of both sides. Alawal vs Luminosity. A win for Alawal would take them into that 4th place spot. CTF Fathom would be game 1. With Nadis staying alive for nearly 3 minutes of rail, Luminosity took a 2-0 lead before a lag out. Alawal started a rematch of better side, taking a 1-0 lead, but as soon as LG got control, they get the cap to take the game 3-1 on aggregate. Regret Slayer saw LG push to a 2-0 series lead. They took the game 50-40, to Denoxide 18-7. for Game 3, Denoxide hits an overkill and his team win 100-50 on Empire Strongholds, beating Alawal 3-0 and breaking away from relegation. Eco losing to his former side. Optic took on Enigma 6 next. An equal game in Slays, but Optic took game 1, CTF Truth 3-1, just by being more efficient. A great comeback from E6 in Slayer Plaza put pressure on Optic. E6 coming back from a 14 kill deficit. They win 50 to 45, stealing it from Optic. 100 to 71 on Rig Strongholds for Optic, retaking the lead in the series. 2-1 Snakebite with 11 caps, easy. E6 put up a bit of a fight, but Optic won the series on CTF Fathom 2-1. E6 nearly with a return 10 seconds left to tie it up. Did I say Optic too much in that? Ah, it doesn't matter. EG took on Allegiance in a must win for both teams. First up was CTF Fathom, and both these teams showing they had what it takes to win the series. It went into overtime, and EG took the lead 2-1, time ran out for Allegiance, and EG took game 1. And another close game between the two bottom feeders of the league saw EG take the series lead to a 2-0, winning the Rig Slayer 50-47. Allegiance, all but written off, they went into the Rig Strongholds wanting to prove a point. They flew into a 169 win, and Falcate had hit 25 kills. Rory set in for EG, and a tie game on CTF Coliseum put it to a replay. Two counter caps after going behind saw EG stay alive, but Straight Sick hit an overkill extermination, winning Allegiance game 4 and taking it to a game 5. The story of EG's season. Back to back reverse sweeps after Allegiance take Eden Slayer 50 to 34. Falcated Gurn Ham 16 for 5. Gutting for the Infinity team. Now a massive match for Liquid, the only team to beat Envy, take them on in the rematch of week 1. Neither team with a change, could Liquid pull off a back to back win? Game 1 was CTF Truth, and the CTF presence of Liquid was too much for Envy. 3-2 the score, despite 20 and 19 bombs from Snipe Down and Mikwin. Pistola on the other hand, only 6 kills. A close game 2 on Rig Slayer, but it was Envy drawing the series with a 50-42. Ola coming back with a 12-8 performance. Empire Strongholds, another close game, but Envy go up in the series 2-1 with a 100-80 win, and Snipe Down hitting big numbers, 22 kills. CTF Coliseum, and as I said before, Liquid best CTF team in the league, they went 1-0 down but answered back with two quick caps. MB tied it at 2-2 and sniped down on the line, everyone thought he was going to put it in the winning cap, but from nowhere Connolly gets a touch and rain with a pull after that, they return the flag on the line. Liquid just shocked MV again, they clutched a pull in game 1 and now they clutch one in game 4 as well, with both CTF game wins. Game 5, Slayer and Regret. It would have been a hero series if Liquid came out and won it, but it wasn't their day. Envy came out all guns blazing, 50-34, Ola 17-7. for seven. Week 5 day 1 showed Envy still on top and Opting looking a bit rusty but still picking up wins. EG now on a 5 loss streak. Day 2 was here and Allegiance would kick things off against Liquid. Liquid determined to bounce back after losing Game 5 as Envy the day before. Game 1 was a rig strongholds and Allegiance came out like a changed team. 100 to 16, 2 kills for Penguin, 19 for Contra. It looked like ALG had turned a new leaf after they win the day before, but Plaza Slayer, Liquid proved that wrong. 50 to 40 to them and Penguin 14 kills and 14 assists. 
No one's going to win a CTF against Liquid. 2-1 on Fathom, heavily outslaying Allegiant squad. A complete turnaround for Liquid, 100-4 on Eden Strongholds, 46 kills to 21 from ALG. Straight sick with 11, but Spartan going off with 17. Liquid win the series 3-1. Luminosity took on Envy, next as a win for both teams would put a big dent into the other. ALG more so than Envy. Game 1, Empire Strongholds went to ALG in what was a weird game. 17 kills for Naded, 16 for Denoxide with both of them top caps of their team, but only 6 kills for Altown and 4 for Victory? Basically a two-man show? Maybe assists were through the roof for both the other two players, but I'm not too sure. A big swing in Envy's favour allowed them to break away towards the end of the Rig Slayer and win 50-44. Victory, lowest kills and lowest assists for his team, going 5 kills, 4 assists and 14 deaths. Envy looking good in CTF Truth as they took a swift 3-0 win. Denoxide, however, had 20 kills, 11 more than anyone on his team. He was going huge this series, but Ola's free caps meant Envy went 2-1 in the series. Envy came back from 40 points behind to break Luminosity's lead as they couldn't close the game out. Naded only 7 kills but 8 caps, whereas Victory 15 kills but only 1 cap. Envy win 193 on Eden Strongholds and take it 3-1, Denoxide once again hitting big numbers though with 25 kills. Next up. Alawal Grudge Match vs Optic Gaming 150 rig strongholds to Optic Optic capitalising on any and every mistake Alawal was making The rig slayer was much of the same 50 to 45 for Optic Eco however 17 and 10 Half of Alawal's kills An Optic cruise to a 3-0 series win 3-1 in CTF Truth 21 kills for Royal 2 GG's Alawal going 0 for 6 for week 5 EG took on E6 in a massive game, I even wrote down massive in capitals in my notes, that's how important this series was. EG on a 5 loss streak and did not want to sink into relegation. E6 on the other hand, also wanting their first win with this new roster. Game 1 was Plaza Strongholds and E6 came out and took it with relative ease, 153. The twins only 12 kills combined, but Ninja goes absolutely clutch in Game 2 Plaza Slayer with three no scopes, two quick scopes, and a two for one body shot, took the game away from E6 50 to 41. Seriously, that spree was one of the sickest things I've seen in Halo 5 Pro League. CTF Cauliflower, I mean Coliseum, was game three, and after an initial 2 0 lead from E6, EG came back to tie 2 2. E6 regained control and took it 3 2. They heavily outslayed EG and had weapons for most of the game. Strongholds for Rig was up next, and Stella went big at the end of the game, giving EG the win 174. We're going to game 5! It was Slayer Coliseum, and Ninja hit some big shots of Snipe early on, but Shooter went crazy. Hiding back Red and won a 3v1 to give his team the series win 50-43, and EG's third 3-2 loss in a row. They had control but gave it up, and that sums up EG's season. At the end of week 5, and currently, Envy on a 9 win streak, 9-1 and in the league, Optic nipping their heels, 8-2, and two. Liquid coming out strong, 6-4, and four, and in a healthy spot to qualify for finals, Luminosity, 5-5, five five, only 1 win ahead of Enigma 6 on 4-6, and six, trying to get them into finals. At the bottom, Evil Geniuses, just above the drop, but on a 6 losing streak after an, an easy week for them on paper. Tied below them is Alawal on 3 for 7, but a worse map win. Allegiance, despite their win this week, stay bottom, still with an outside hope of making finals, but currently 2 and 6. These weeks highlight who made the most of their changes, with Alawal looking the most improved, but a tough week 5 puts them in relegation, whereas EG still not picking up a win even though they picked up Stella. That's it from me, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm Joe Sketch, have fun and make sure you don't goose. Peace. As I've got a little time to spare, I'll do a quick prediction on this week's games for the NA Pro League. Alawal, 3-1 against Allegiance. Alg, 3-0 against E6. Envy, 3-0 against EG. Optic Gaming, 3-2 against Team Liquid. Optic Gaming, 3-0 against Allegiance. Envy, 3-2 against E6. Liquid, 3-1 against Luminosity. EG, 
2, LOL 3. Alright, peace out. Players don't want to play against good players. <laughs>